back out there. We're on the boat and it's just stopped in the middle of the ocean and uh, it's rocky. I've taken my seasickness tablets and I'm not feeling too great. <laughs> um, so I don't know what the problem is with the engines but there seems to be a problem with them. Three hours later and we are here in Kailana. There's an entrance fee to this island, 10 baht per person, FYI. Not much, but weird. Mate, that is chaos getting through the ferry terminal. Everyone, taxi, taxi, hey, taxi, taxi, come here, come here, come here, taxi. No, let me look around, let me just work it out. How, how are you gonna get around on a motorbike? Oh, well, let me take you to your hotel, get a motorbike from them. No, 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 leave. no thanks, mate. Just sat on a boat for three hours, mate. Give me some time. All right, we managed to get a tuk-tuk for 200 baht for two people. It's going to Pinky Bungalow. So it's like a 16 to 18 minute drive in a car. It's 8.8 .8 kilometers. Just to give you a little reference there if you need to know how much you're gonna spend. Pinky Bungalows. This place is not bad. Bed's comfortable. It's got air conditioning. The shower's a little bit not good. It's got quite a nice size balcony with a nice table out here. Also at this accommodation, you can hire motorcycles for 250 baht a day, which I'm told is actually the going rate. That's about average. If it's 300, it's they're trying to rip you off a little bit. So 250 baht is what you're looking for, for motorbike hire per day. Gonna get some food. I'm starving, man. We haven't eaten anything yet today. Let's see, uh, let's see what this place is all about. It's a small uh, Thai place. Look at that mate, cushions on the seats. Oh. Might may just eat in here every day. Just bought us some pineapple out too. What legends. Very kind people, aren't they? Very nice, very, very nice of them. This is our little scooter that we've hired for, uh, how much is it? 250 baht per day? Yeah. To cruise around Koh Lanta. Oh, Pan Yang, uh, where the fuck are we? Koh Old Town. Pretty cool. You like up there? You like up there, don't you? We had a well nice fruit shake, fruit shake as we came in. Mango and passion fruit, 50 baht, gig as well. Oh, it was perfect. Fresh fruit, well nice. Literally as you come in, did you first drive up, there's a place right there on the corner. Mate, get, get a fruit shake from there, it's well nice. Good morning. We're gonna do some uh, morning yoga today, aren't we Nat? Yes. Morning yoga, down the beach I think. We met a couple of friends from uh, from the UK here, so we're gonna head down the beach in a bit and uh, do some morning yoga before breakfast. What a day. I'm missing the warm up.
yoga was a success. One thing I will say about this place is be very, very careful when you book your tours or your uh, boat tickets because she has just been trying so hard to sell us the speedboat instead of the ferry that she's even lied to us about how long it takes. I think this is going to be like an ongoing theme here where they're, they're going to try and sell you the most expensive things possible. The ferry takes one hour, the speedboat takes half an hour and the price difference is double. The ferry is 500 baht, the speedboat is 1000 baht per person uh, and it's only half an hour difference. But she tried telling us that the ferry takes six hours and all this and just be very, very careful and make sure you do your research before you do all these things. 500 baht is like 10 pounds. Not much in the grand scheme of things, but you add them up, you spent hundreds that you didn't need to spend. So be very, very careful. That's one thing I will say. <laughs> We're here at the Jack Canal waterfall in Koh Lanta. We have seen online that the people on the, as you, as you turn up to the waterfall sort of entrance area, there is a lot of people there now trying to sell you guides and they say you're not allowed in without it, but apparently that's a complete scam. If you just go right before you get to the end, you can just get, just do the trek for free because it's not even a difficult trek. They just say you need a guide and try charging you 200 baht per person. And they try and charge you 40 baht per, per scooter for parking. We just park there. We're just gonna have a little walk around, a little exploration, and just see if we can uh, see if we can get in. Oh, well, we've accidentally found an elephant bath. <laughs> this is way better than a waterfall. <laughs> gave up on the waterfall you can actually get in but we got distracted by the elephants watched them for about 20 minutes uh, and then we decided we we're starving hungry so we've come to get some food now on the way back there's a nice place here which some other tourists have just told us that this is they got really good food in here so yeah it's a really nice view too I'll ch check this out mi familia Like Alright, Hannah's gonna get her first tattoo here in Thailand. Let's see how much it is. Uh, it's taken about half an hour. They've charged about 2,000 uh, baht for it. If you're in Koh Lanta and you fancy getting a tattoo, she went in there, got it same day. So she went, we went in there about 4 p.m. and still got it same day. He's done it at 8, 8 p.m. for her. Right, time for some quick dinner. It's our last, li last night here, so we want something good. We've just been recommended this place. Uh, we're gonna get Ko Kao Sok, Ko Sok, something like that. My hair looks mental. Yeah, meant to be really good here, so I'm excited. Here we go, Kao Sok, mate. This looks fucking good. Bit of dessert. Oh, look at that! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. Pumping about, trying doing? to get a bit of everything on there. <laughs> yeah. On the cocktail stick. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Oh, orange. Yeah. Right, yeah. I probably wasn't as good as Nutella, but Nutella was uh, 20 baht more. <laughs> the normal chocolate oh. was t only 10 baht more, so. And I paid double for Nutella. The noises. Good night. <laughs>